Hello and welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a puffer jacket. And we're going to do it with these easy steps. First, we'll import our model. This model was created in Make Human. It's a free software, so try it out. I'll leave the link in the description of this video. So we'll select the shirt and go into edit mode. Once you increase the number of subdivisions, depending on the power of your system, that will determine how many subdivisions you can work with. So then we're going to create the folds for the puffer jacket. So we want the first line of fold here a bit under the arm. Holding Alt, select the edge mode. And you have to click on, on this line while holding Alt. So to select the edge loop. And then we'll give it a bit of space. We'll go down a bit and make another selection. For the other selection, we'll hold Shift and Alt together and select there. So just depending on the number of folds you want for the puffer jacket. And then around the arm, we want to make a selection too. Here. And here. Holding Shift and Alt. We're going to make a line through the middle. And we'll divide the chest also. At the back, the center line, we want to add a line also. Come here to the top where the shoulder is. We add one on both sides. And then under the armpit on both sides. I'm trying to select, yeah. Okay, then we can also create another loop selection to divide this arm around here. Okay, it's looking good for now. We go here to our object data properties, create a new vertex group. You can name these folds or anything. Just give it any name you like and click on assign so all these vertices that we assigned they are going to we are going to make them a pin group in our cloud simulation so we can go back to object mode i want to arrange this shirt so it positioned well on the model okay so it's time for the cloud simulation and then we we'll select the base model and turn that to collision. Selecting the shirt to go to clot. There's a step that we omitted. Before the clot simulation, we have to solidify the mesh. Now let's increase that. Increase the thickness. So we go back to the cloth scene. Go to pressure. And then in the shape, we're going to pin folds. want to always shade smooth. I think we are getting a better result now. We need it to still be more puffy. So let's increase the pressure. Let me try 45. So this is the thing about simulation. You need to keep trying and trying different values until you get exactly what you want. So I think at 45, the pressure is good enough. You know, it's just, it's down to you. Depending on how puffy you want this jacket to look like. 
could go crazy with the numbers, but I think 45 is good for me. But you can you can still go crazy with it. Let's try 55. Yeah. Oh, this looks nice. Okay, guys. I think we'll stop here. So we can allow the simulation play a bit for the cloth to settle. And after some frames, we are going to apply the cloth simulation. I think around here is good enough. You can pause that. Then go to your modifiers. Click on this arrow and press apply. And there you have it. Your jacket is more or less ready. To add like extra touch to it, you can go into the sculpt mode and select the cloth. Reduce the strength. Also reduce the radius. Let's reduce the radius. And then just you see that. I'm increase the strength up a bit so I can see it. So you just take and shake your cursor to add the wrinkles to the material. Because we don't want the material to look perfectly smooth. I don't think there's any cloth that's perfectly smooth. So just go ahead and create some wrinkles. Got it back. Just shake the cursor around a bit. You can play with the strength and the radius and just you know go have fun. Have some fun while you are doing it. You can even play some play some music and just sculpt away. Like what do you think? Like what do you think about the jacket? Is this something you would like to to have something you like to wear. Same for the winter season. Well, dep depending on how much details you want, you can go crazy with this. Let me stop here. And then we'll go back to the object mode. You can still add another subdivision surface. Hope my system does not crash. Yeah, I think I think we're good here. So that's it for this tutorial. Just very easy. You can go ahead and add your textures. So this is what the weight paint looks like. That's a simple lighting and texturing trick that can bring out the look of the jacket. Yeah, you can experiment with it. Depends on you. Depends on what you like. I know you already know what to do from here, so just uh, take over the project. Do with it what you like. If you like what you saw in this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.